Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming out, uh, coming at you with 2022 Panini Absolute Baseball Five Box Half Case Random Team Number Four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Appreciate you. There are the teams right there, and let's roll it and randomize names and teams six into three, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, you can still hit us up, uh, Ryan, on support at jazbees.com. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. Two, three, four. Or you can hit the question mark button on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That goes to the same place. Eight, and once more, right? Six and a three, nine times. Nine there, nine there. And once more, nine times. All right, so after nine, Royals down to Twins. All right, so Zach, you got the Royals. David M. with the Rockies. Jonathan, you got my Dodgers. Chad with the Giants. Zach with the Rangers. Hani with the White Sox. Walter with the Angels. Greg with the Pirates. Marcy with the Brewers. Zach with the Mets. David with the Cardinals. Greg with the Yankees. Zach with the Phillies. Brian with the Blue Jays. Arthur with the Reds. David with the Nationals. Brian with the Tigers. Michael with the Diamondbacks. Matt with the Marlins. Zach with the Orioles. Brian with the Mariners. Zach with the A's. Michael with the Astros. David M. with the Cubs. Zach with the Red Sox, David O with the Braves, David M, Padres, Guardians, Matt Arnold with the Rays, and Ryan with the Minnesota Twins. All right, let's sort by column B right here. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break, stick around, a BRB. What's Oregon next weekend? You're going to Oregon next weekend? Nice. Oh, hey, welcome back, everybody. No deals done in this break right here. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We were just talking a little college college sports during the trade window. So here it is. We mark these break four so we know it's from the same case. So I don't know. I just feel like all the conferences will just collapse on each other, and there'll just be like three or four super conferences at the end of the day. Jason is going to Oregon to see a game. Where are they playing? Hawaii. Hawaii. Nice. My brother's probably going to be there. Oh, really? They're flying out a lot of people from Hawaii to go see a game. Oh, nice. And the Eagles play on Thursday night football the week I go. Yeah, well, see, it's incredible that a conference with top six, the six of the top 25 teams can't get a real TV deal, which is why I think there's a lot of fault on the conference, too. I feel like the conference mismanaged this as well. So I don't think it's just, you know, greedy USC and greedy UCLA, like, you know, ditching the conference. I mean, I'm sure a lot of money had to do with it, but I think... I think the Pac-12 had their chances to, to develop a credible TV package to generate the money that we need, and, and that's just what it's turned into, what we have now. Yeah, let's use that blank card to some of the SGA, you came in fifth place in voting. Wow. 135 out of 149, Rafael Devers. I don't see I don't see Devin Booker not even top ten. Wow. In MVP voting last year. So one for Jackson Coar and Extreme Team Cedric Mullins. You hear that, Joe Pizzle? Chasing in the background? What's your response? I don't know what my response would be. My response would be all Devin Booker needs to do, who cares about MVPs? Don't fight him, Joe Pizzle. Just be like, you know what? The only MVP that matters finals MVP. Finals. Finals. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about MVP? Out of 299, <laughs> established threats. I watched basketball until like three years ago, dog. I know, seriously. Joe Pizzle, when did you start watching basketball? Three years ago? Three or four years ago?
Joe's been in the stream longer. You know, actually, Pizzle's been in the stream longer than three years. So yeah, we I, talk I, about he never talked long. about Suns so in the so early. Yeah, he, there was never any talk about the Phoenix Suns the early years with Joe Pizzle. There's Yankees Greg with with Aaron Judge and Cal Raleigh, 94 out of 99, rookie baseball and signature. And that is a book for the Mariners. That's going to go to Brian Crouch and the Mariners. That's because they suck for a decade. Rex still talks about his Cubs. And my Thunder are like the worst team every year. For yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like eight Jay's years. been talking about Thunder since the day I, that I met him. There's the big dumper. There's a Dallas Garcia to 199. And I think all cards ship in this, right? And usually most. It doesn't say, but that means all cards ship. We got we got Danny Mendick. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? What? I didn't emphasize that. That's just how I say it. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's just how it's a family show, Jason. <laughs> Jason's talking about. That's just how I say that name. Danny Mendick. 141 out of 199. White Sox. Tawny with the White Sox. Triple Relic and Autograph, hey Siri, Jose Siri. Two color Triple Relic and Autograph, 170 out of 199. Wow, Joe Piz says, I haven't heard squat from Jay about OKC until a few years ago. Bro, I have proof of all the games I went since like 2009, 10. Oh, if this player, Ryan didn't catch the name. Yeah, that's Danny Mendick. Astros, that's uh, Michael Stapleton. Last spot, Mojo strikes again 70% of the time, Michael. 100% of the time. And then we got Eric Gonzalez. Two color dual relic, 120 out of 199. And that's for Matt Arnold and the Fish. All right, another box, box two of five. Uh, he's gone now, Joe Fizzle, but he knows how you feel. No, Jay, Jason's been tight. He, as far as I, as long as I've known him, I've known him for a long time. It's always been Eagles football, OKC, and and Oregon Ducks collegiate sports, and the Los Angeles Kings. He's been pretty consistent. He's been pretty consistent with his teams. I think we saw a redemption down there. Oh, there's one more numbered card. Luis Robert to 199. There's the redemption. Then we got Jaron Duran Duran. RPA, dual relic and autograph. Tools of the trade, dual relic and autograph. 14 out of 199. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sun. It goes to Zach Sullivan. And then there's Aaron Kaisner. Neisner? Is the K silent like knife? I'm gonna go with Neisner. Andrew Neisner, dual relic, 63 out of 199 for the Cardinals. David M with the cards. No big hit express. I mean, if you wanted to, people haven't filled the filler, Sal. You gotta ask your fellow collectors in the chat, do they want to do it or not? 
All right, rookie baseball material booklet signatures, pink parallel. That's going to be J O Joe Joe Jasp. Joe, it might be Joe Jasp. Look at that, Joe. No, Joe Ryan. Thought it was going to be me for a second. I was like, did I not sign my cards? No, it's Joe Ryan for the Twins. That's going to go to Ryan Gansby. Twins. Yeah, would love to get that Big Hit Express done tonight. If you want to, ladies and gentlemen, but we only got a couple hours left in the show. There's Altuve to 199. And Otani Icons 99. It's a hilarious picture. They did Angels did team photos, but I guess he wasn't available. So they got like some dude, some like old white dude to stand in for Otani, but he's like he's wearing his uniform and everything. I don't know why I don't know why it cracked me up so much, but he was wearing his number and his like his hand behind his back, but they're just gonna photoshop his face out and pop in his face, I guess. But yeah, for the team photo. We got Hans Kraus, Rookie Force, 81 out of 99. That's for the fight in Phil's. That'll be for Zach. And there's uh, Patrick Mazika, Rookie Baseball, Material Booklet, Signature 23 out of 60. Dual relic and autograph on the sweet spot baseball. Nice. That is for that's Mets edition going to Zach Sullivan. Slider boxes out here. All right, next box. Yeah, I'm. I'm. That's one of those side characters where I'm like, where is where, where is he gonna go? Yeah. Is he is he really bad? Is he really not? Yeah. Is he know. just a mercenary? Or yeah. And then like Michael pointed out, was like, you know, like, are you like uh, nervous or something? You know, and he's just like, no, no. just experience. Right. You know, like, it's like, bro, he's wise. Right. So he's not gonna hitch hitch his wagon to ever, yeah. to anybody just blind loyalty. Like Morgan Elsbeth is blindly loyal to Thrawn, right? Yeah. But not yeah. not not. Not the Lord. All right, there's Ken Griffey Jr. to 199. Did I see the video of everyone high-fiving Otani and one player smacked him on the behind and he was who was surprised? Otani was surprised? <laughs> <laughs> That's just what comes up on Rex's feed. <laughs> Behind smacks. He wants me to take my shirt off. Over yeah. There. That's what he wants to. <laughs> Triple relic and autograph to 199. It's 2023, Rex. It's okay. There's uh, Michael Harris. Tools of the trade. Triple relic and autograph going to uh, David O and the Braves. No, sorry, Rex. That did not come across my feed. And we got Eloy Jimenez. Nice. Four out of 99. Eloy, he is him. Him, Jimenez. That'll be for Tani and the White Sox. Sports Center is brought to you by DraftKings. Rookie Force, Rodolfo Castro. Piece of his jersey, 67 out of 199. Who the Raiders play week one, Joe? Denver. Oh, 
Denver? In Denver. Raiders plus three and a half. Oh, I should be doing Those games uh, are always... Yeah, the Raiders, Raiders, no matter how good or bad they, both I mean, of those teams Chiefs, are. sometimes it's always close. Yeah, those, divi- those AFC West Divisional games are still really fun. J.D. Martinez, 19 out of 199, Red Sox edition. I wonder if Matt Arnold's going to be there. Is there any other person? Oh, yeah. Matt Arnold, are you going to be there? He was in the chat earlier. And historic duels, 44 out of 149, Johnny Bench and Joe Morgan. Oh, I forgot to answer his question. He was asking me if, if I was going to go to any Raiders games this year. I'm, I'm going to try to. The prices. Is... What do they play in Vegas that team? Oh, no. Matt, Matt's in the chat. He said he sold them. Uh, People were paying stupid money. Yeah, dude. Stupid Raider fans. <laughs> Dude, he's all, he's all, he's all, how much he paid? He sold his uh, Taylor Swift tickets for. Like he got them at face value. He made a killing, dude. Yeah. Anyone who got into the Taylor Swift market. Woo. <laughs> but Matt Ron was saying that what Raiders tickets in Vegas are, are decent. Yeah, my um, my my cousin's a Denver Broncos fan. He said he went to Raiders. One of these and there's a lot of Raiders fans. They're hosting Pittsburgh, Green Bay, New England. Both New York teams back to back. Pittsburgh would be fun. Not yeah, actually, Oscar. Sunday, October one. Yeah, um, and then before the bye, Kansas City. Mm. Then after the bye week, Minnesota, hosting the Chargers, and then hosting Denver last game of the year. Hmm. Serge Rose, you might go to the Jets game. That could be fun. Aaron Rodgers. That's Sunday night football too. I might have to carve out one of these. I have, to, I have to take vacation day, though, so it better be a game that... So it'll be later in the year. If the Raiders are doing well, then I'll pony up the vacation day and the uh, the vacation day and the ticket to go out there. Nah, you're in Vegas. Just, That's true, yeah. Just, just watch it on my screen. Yeah, like one of the Giants TV sports books? Yeah, go to the stadium soon. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. Hans Kraus. Have you been there yet? No, I wanted to go when I first visited it, but, like, they were charging 25 bucks just to go. Yeah, there. unless you have a... So yeah. that's how I was going to be, like, I might as well just stay there. Well, yeah, I was going to... Like, I, I wanted to go, but I was like, I'll pay the 25 when I'm actually there to stay. Like, I was just there in, like, shorts. I wasn't trying to get in the water. I just wanted to see. But he yeah. wants to go up there. Uh, Eli Morgan for Cleveland, by the way. That's for David M. Wait, hold on. Even if you're staying there, you have to pay? No, I don't know if you're staying there. You have to pay. I don't but think... Like, it, yeah. I was just saying that, like, I just wanted to go see it. I thought I could just walk up and see it, but no, you, you have to pay to even go up there. Yeah, I know. That's what happened to me, too. Because so I, yeah. I was just like, oh, I just wanted to go see it. And they're like, yeah, 25 bucks. And I was like, what? Oh, maybe, though, maybe in the winter they won't. Yeah. Because it was in the summer when you went, right? Uh, yeah, I went to this, yeah, I went, no, actually, yeah, I went to this, uh, early, it was, like, May, because I was there for, like, oh. uh, it's still, no, actually, it was summer, it was, like, June or July, yeah, or yeah, 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 I can see that, I wonder, I wonder if it's, like, in the dead of winter, you it know, when that one year, uh, the Clippers were playing against the Suns in the, in the playoffs, I don't know if it was the Western mm-hmm. Conference Finals, or, or one of those years. No, Sal, Sal says his lady got Taylor Swift tickets to Miami. Hate it, Sal says. <laughs> um, there's a hotel, Ryan, um, Circa, Las Vegas, where apparently one of, and it's like, it's in downtown, it's like an old town Vegas, right? So I think they tore down like in some old hotel there near the Golden Nugget and they rebuilt it. They took like a two years to rebuild it. And one of their sort of features is this giant sports book and they've got a giant, um, they've got a giant uh, pool with like, like a movie theater sized like um, TV screen where they play sports. So I've been in the casino, the hotel, the resort looks really nice. Have I, I've not driven by the Intuit Dome. Is it starting to go up? I've seen the sphere in Vegas, though. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. Wow. Sal's excited. Circa goes hard, Joe. Best outdoor. This is the sports book, you can bet outdoors too? Yes, I think you can. Yeah, I, think I think that's the whole thing. So you don't have to leave the pool. You can stay by the water all day and then go bet outside and then still stay in the, be in the pool area. You don't have to go back inside. And you can watch it on the you can watch on the big screen. Right? No, all those are like mobile now too, right? It's true, yeah. 
I got, you know what? Maybe I got to stay there at some point. I usually don't stay in that area. But I have done the Circa football contest one couple of years ago. There's Al Kaline to 140 and almost cashed. Maybe I got to do that. There's the 99 for Nash Tatis Jr. Oh, you're going to see U2 at the Sphere? It's Al Kaline to 149. And we got a thick Fernando Tatis Jr. It's out of 10, that's why. Triple Relic, low number. That's awesome. That's going to go to David M. and the Padres. And the book is going to be Jackson Coar, 26 out of 50 for the Royals. Twenty-six out of fifty. Zach Sullivan, Kansas City. Yeah, it's there's definitely because um, I'm sure you remember Matt. My sister works at the Wind, so I don't really get discounts there, but I do save up to try to stay there whenever I can. Um, but uh, but I was there recently, and the traffic around there is still a mess. I and mean, they opened that. In or across Fourth of July weekend or something, but that road is that's on the south side of the wind. To go there, it's just like, it's like this, and the Venetian um, Convention Center is right on that right side. If you're going that way toward, if the sphere is over there, if you're going uh, east, and then to go there, that road kind of winds and curves a little bit to even get there. I don't even know what the parking situation is like, you know. I would park somewhere else. I would park like a Treasure Island, and then, and then uh, walk over or something. In October, it would probably it would probably be a lot cooler. There's Anthony Bedner to 199, Miami. That'll be for Matter Arnold. <laughs> yeah. No, I looked at F1 prices. It's ridiculous. Thousands of dollars just to sit at one corner of the race where you might see cars go by. You know, however many laps it is. 60 times. <laughs> it's going to go to Matt Arnold and the fish. That's for you, Matt. There's Alejo Lopez, RPA. 81 out of 199, dual relic and autograph. The prices, even if they're falling, I feel like they're still, like they're still pricey. Huh, Ellis Island, huh? And there's Luke Williams, Triple Relic to 149. I mean, my parents retired there last year, so in Vegas, so. Worse, I mean, I suppose I could go. Go stay at the hotel that is my parents' place. Alejo Lopez goes to Arthur and the Reds. Um. I suppose I could go there and just like watch, maybe just pay for, I feel like maybe qualifying might even be a little more fun than the actual race itself. It's a night race, so I could just go and maybe watch the race on TV, but it's gonna be a mess for like three or four weeks there, I think, because I think they're gonna spend like a solid two weeks, if not more, setting up the, the roads, right? Closing the road, setting up the grandstands and all that stuff, and they're just be shutting down the strip essentially for however long. So that's gonna be a nightmare there for a while. And then I think it still takes like another couple weeks, two, three weeks to break everything down. So it might be, be a solid month of it just being an S show just to travel around there. Like they moved. They moved, so my sister was telling me that they moved wind parking. So they have, they have, they have a big parking structure in, um, for the wind employees. And I think the F1 teams have commandeered that, that parking structure for the duration of the race. So they have to, all those thousands of employees have to park offsite and get shuttled in. It's a whole mess. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. Put put water down the wrong pipe. Yeah, I was. I think I was there in July during summer league, and it was pretty bad then. You have to take a lot of back roads and. There's Mickey Mouse 99 and just be patient. And they're building like a new bridge across the freeway because they're expanding, I think, Tropicana Ave, the, 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 the bridge that goes over the 15. I think they're expanding and rebuilding that. So that has messed up freeway traffic and it's just a whole, it's a whole thing. I mean, when it's done, it's gonna be nice, but for now it's a hassle. There's Mickey Mouse 99. And we got Angel Zerpa, 16 out of 25. Ooh, nice uh, black baseball gold ink. Some nice color there. Lower numbers tend to have nicer, nicer uh, relics inside, different colored baseball. That's another one for Zach Sullivan and the Royals. And if someone were to get comps at like Caesars Palace during the F1 weekend, Ooh. that means you're like a baller, right? Oh yeah. That means you just like if you got money. If you got comps to go to F1. Well, yeah. that too, but just to stay there. To stay there, yeah. To stay there, you probably get a lot of a lot of comp dollar dollar bills as well. All right, Giancarlo Stand to one ninety nine. Duncan helped build the crash bridge on the track at Albert Park. The pack up lingers a little bit. They root and save the roads pretty quickly. Oh, okay. And then they things like the Grand Grand San Marquis hang around for a while. Oh, they have to reseed everything as well. Who got roasted? What happened? <laughs> roasted in July? Yeah, I think because it's like a city city streets, they have to close everything down. They probably have to have the street itself ready for the race itself. I know when they had the Grand Prix in Long Beach, Oh, roasted in this break. To 199, Jonathan with my Dodgers. We got Connor Siebold, rookie signatures, 8 out of 50. Rookie signatures, that's going to be for, for Boston. That will be for, for Zach. And the last hit is going to be Drew Ellis. Rookie Force Relic, 77 out of 299 for Arizona, Michael Stapleton. And there you go, gang. Hey, congrats to the people that hit. For the people that didn't, thank you. Appreciate you getting in, as always. Um, we'll get them next time. Get your, keep getting your at-bats in. That was Absolute Baseball, five box, random team four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.